What up, y'all? Um, I know I haven't posted on here in quite some time due to obvious reasons, but I'm here to clear the air about a few things, and a lot of questions that people have had. And I'm also here to air out what I truly think and what I feel and where I want things to go. People are always asking me, you know, am I ever going to come back to YouTube? Am I ever going to come back to the internet and, you know, do my music and, you know, help people out? And the answer to that is most definitely. I definitely do plan to do that, but right now is not the time. And I've also been getting the question a lot lately. If I could change what happened that day, when that guy showed up, would I change it? No, I wouldn't. You want to know why? Because I did what I had to do to protect my family. I do not regret what I did. I did what I had to do to protect my family. And in me going to jail, did that suck? Yes. But in that happening, that opened up an opportunity for me to try to help people like myself to put a stop to all this. And I'm proud of that. Yeah, it does suck that I had to go to jail just to get the help that I needed. But I wouldn't change it for anything. Because now I'm finally getting the help that I truly need to put a stop to all of this. And to everybody that has stuck by me through all of this craziness, like everybody that has had my back, I want to say thank you guys. I really do. I want to say thank you for having my back. You guys genuinely mean the world to me. And for those of you that are just new coming in saying that you want to do an interview with me and this and that and the other. And for those of you that I have spoken with that are genuine, that are actually good people that mean well, I want to say thank y'all. But me doing an interview right now is not the right time. And I hope you guys do not take this personal. But to everybody new that's coming in, you guys are going to have to give me time to trust you. Because I have been led down a lot of bad roads. I have been lied to, tricked. You know, all kinds of stuff. So it's very hard for me to trust people right now. The only people I truly trust from the bottom of my heart are those that are close to me. And those people know who they are. Those people know who they are, and I'm grateful to them for that. So like I said, please don't take it personal. It's nothing against you guys. I know a lot of you guys do genuinely mean well and want to see me do better. And believe me, I want to do better. But doing an interview, it just it's not the right time. Because I have stuff that I have to do first. I mean, a lot of people are like, you know, like, oh, focus on doing your music and stuff. And believe me, I want to. But right now, I have to focus on this court case. As much as I don't want to, I have to focus on this. Because this court case could open up a lot of doors for a lot of people. And it could get a lot of people the help they, that they need. And to shed some light on this kind of stuff that does go on. And that's why I am prioritizing this court case above everything else. As much as I don't want to, I have to. Like, I have to put this court case above all else. 
Now, whenever the court case is done, and I don't have to worry about it anymore, then, yeah, I'm, I'm more than willing to do, you know, interviews and all that shit. But, right now, it's just, it's not a good time. And I understand that people want to see a better side of me. They want to see a good side of me. And trust me, that day is coming. And fast. Very fast, it's coming. But right now is not the time for that. Because like I said, this court case, it's going to open a lot of doors for a lot of people to get the help that they need. Not only for myself, will it help, but for others that go through the same thing. Because I want them to know that there is help out there. If they're going through this, there is help out there. And that's why I want to put this first above all else. This court case takes priority over everything. Over my music, over interviews, over everything. And I know that doesn't really make a lot of sense, you know, people are always like, you know, you should live your life, and I'm trying to do that. I am trying to live my life, but I want to make sure that I have everything together that I need to put a stop to all this stuff that's been going on. Because what's been happening to me and my family is unfair. And it's even more unfair to those that deal with it. Even worse than what I get. So I do hope that you guys understand why I'm not going to be able to do any interviews for a while. It's not that I don't want to. Because I would love to. But... I want to do the interviews at a time where I'm not, you know, preoccupied and, you know, having to focus on, you know, such a huge thing. I hope you guys understand that. Because like I said, I want this court case to be the thing that opens doors for people to get the help that they need with stuff like this. Because no one deserves to go through what I've been through. No one. Which is why I want to make this court case a door opener for other people to get bullied and get harassed and get put in the same situation. But with that being said, again, for all you guys that do want to do interviews, I do hope that you don't take it personal. I really do hope that you do not take it personally, because I in no way mean it on a personal level, but this court case is very important to me, because like I said, this court case could change so much stuff for so many people. And I want to make sure that that happens, and I want to see it through. So, yeah. But don't worry. Here in the next coming weeks, I will be preparing to come back full time. I will be preparing for that. I will be doing, you know, what I need to do to prepare for gameplay videos, to prepare for... You know, song covers, you know, releasing brand new music that I've been working on that I've had on hold for the last several months. Like, all that will be coming, but first, I need to take care of this court case. Because like I said, this court case could open up a lot of doors for a lot of people, and that's what I want to do, is open up doors for people to help them. So, yeah. 
Anyways, guys, for all y'all that have shown love and support to me and reached out to me, just know that I fucking love you guys. And just know that I will be coming back very soon. I'm not sure when, but just know that it's going to be soon. With that being said, I love you guys. Um, hope you guys had a good 4th of July. I know I did. Hope you all had a lot of fun with your friends, family, and loved ones. And, uh, yeah. I look forward to seeing you guys soon, man. Peace. You know, I tried to keep my mouth shut this whole time. But I'm not keeping my mouth shut on this. At all. All you fucking trolls that want to sit there and run your mouths and try to trick me and this and that and the other, y'all need to cut the crap. And y'all sitting there saying that, oh, I was proud to go to jail and I was proud of swinging on that dude. No. I wasn't proud that I had to swing on that motherfucker. I was proud that I did what I had to do to protect my family. I did what I had to do to protect my family. And I'm not ashamed to say that I had to protect my family. I'm not ashamed. But what pisses me off even more is you stupid motherfuckers taking advantage of people like me. You guys know that I've had fucked up relationships. But yet you choose to play on that. You choose to take advantage of that. By playing me and trapping me catfishing me, all this stupid shit, all because you guys know that I've had shitty fucking relationships that were mostly abusive, y'all need to cut the crap, dude, because let me tell you right now, I got somebody that's very fucking real, that knows about what's going on, let me tell you right now, they ain't too happy with you motherfuckers, they're Pissed. And trust me when I say they ain't going nowhere. They're solid as a rock. I've already had several conversations with them about everything. I've been open and honest with them about everything and guess what? They actually understand. And they're not holding it against me like you fucking assholes do. You know what's funny? You guys tell me to take responsibility for my actions, right? You tell me to take responsibility for what I do? Why don't the fuck you guys take responsibility for what you fucking do? You guys sit there and you ruin lives for what? You send people to jail and fuck up their lives for what? A click here, a view there, a few dollars here and there. You guys are fucking disgusting. Oh, and to Michael Hacking, fuck you, dude. You're a fucking piece of shit. Sitting there saying that my boy Risky ain't got my best interest in heart. Bitch, yes he does. He's the motherfucker that's been doing shit for me. He's the motherfucker that's had my back. Unlike you. You fucking low life. I mean, look at you. You hang out with Marty. You hang out with William Glory bitch face. You hang out with CBG and all these low life scumbags. Because that's what you are. You're a scumbag. You know, there's an old saying, Michael, that even you should know by now. Show me your friends, and I'll tell you who you are. 
when I look at you, I see a scumbag, a piece of shit. I don't see a good person. I see a sick, twisted troll that doesn't know when to fuck off. So, Michael, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead to me. I'm tired of being jerked around, and I'm tired of being fucked with. So, all y'all dumbass trolls, you guys want me off the internet, guess what? I'm gone. You wanna know why? I don't need your bullshit. I don't need this garbage. I got a better shit that I can do than to sit here on the internet and waste my time with a bunch of fucking assholes that aren't doing anything with their lives. So y'all can consider this my official final video for good. I'm done. I'm done being jerked around by you fucktards. I'm tired of my family being put in danger because of you. I'm sick of it. Y'all need to grow up and get a life. So you know what I say? Fuck the trolls and fuck YouTube. It's all a fucking joke. YouTube is just like you trolls. And you trolls are just like YouTube. You guys are a fucking joke. So, fuck you. And fuck YouTube. You're both a bunch of fucking jokes. That I ain't got time for. Peace out, bitches. Is right now, all y'all dumb fucks that are hitting up my girl in her DMs talking about I did this and I did that. Y'all need to cut the crap, dude. Y'all are just fucking mad that me and her are together, and that's all it is. Y'all are mad. You hate that. And you know what I say to that? Fuck you guys. You guys are a bunch of chumps. I'm proud to be with her, man. I'm proud to be with the girl that I'm with, man. I'm proud of that shit. You want to know why? Because she means everything to me. And unlike y'all, she ain't fake. So fuck y'all dumb assholes that are lying, man. Y'all are a joke. It's stupid. What y'all are doing is juvenile and fucking dumb. And you need to get a real fucking life. Instead of sitting there on the internet all the damn time. Yapping your fucking mouths. Talking all that big shot shit. Because let me tell you, man. One of these days... Y'all youngins are going to run your mouth to the wrong motherfucker. And guess what? They're going to beat your ass for it. For you running your mouth thinking you're a hard ass when you ain't. So my advice to you. Sit down. Shut up. And leave people alone. So I'm going to tell y'all trolls this right the fuck now. Y'all motherfuckers bet just leave me and my girl alone, dude. She ain't buying y'all's bullshit. All y'all are doing is looking for a fucking reaction. And you ain't going to fucking get it from me. Or from her. So y'all better just fuck off. It's stupid. What y'all are doing is juvenile and fucking dumb. And you need to get a real fucking life. Instead of sitting there on the internet all the damn time. Yapping your fucking mouths. Talking all that big shot shit. Because let me tell you man. One of these days. Y'all youngins are going to run your mouths to the wrong motherfucker. And guess what? They're going to beat your ass for it. For you running your mouth thinking you're a hard ass when you ain't. So my advice to you, sit down, shut up, and leave people alone. So I'm going to address the elephant in the room right quick. Because I know a lot of y'all got questions. Now the dude that you're seeing in my girl's photos, that's her ex. From like months ago. So y'all need to let that shit go. But to my girl... You know, I love you, babe. You're awesome. You're amazing. Elena, love you, baby. Can't wait to see when I'm able to get there. It's going to be fucking awesome. I love you, babe. And as for the rest of y'all, man, that have been showing love and support to not only me, but to me and my girl, man. Fucking love you guys, man. Shout out to my brother, Quinn, by the way. What up, bro? Fucking love you, bro. And, uh, yeah, that being said, peace.
So I'm going to say this right now. To all you dumb motherfucking trolls out there that are trying to become, that are trying to get between me and my girl Elena, y'all need to fucking stop, dude. Y'all are a bunch of fucking assholes trying to do stupid shit. Y'all need to fuck off and stay the fuck away from her and leave me and her the fuck alone, dude. Because y'all ain't coming between us. At all. Like, she genuinely loves me and I genuinely love her. And I'm not about to let some dumb motherfuckers with a fucking God complex on the fucking internet come between us. So y'all pussy ass trolls need to fuck off and leave us alone. Until then, I love you, babe. But as for you trolls, fuck you. What's up, y'all? I know this is going to piss off a lot of people, but quite frankly, I don't care. I'll be honest, I'm tired of motherfuckers using me for their own selfish gain and their own reason and their fucking videos just to make a name for themselves. You know, I'm tired of everybody, you know, wanting to do an interview and this and that and the other. Like, I'm sick of it, dude. There's only one person that I'm doing an interview with, and that's my boy Charlie. I'm not about to fucking sit here and do interviews with 50 million fucking people when I don't know y'all like that. Like, y'all sitting there saying that, oh, doing this show will showcase this, and it'll show a good side of you. Man, no, the fuck it won't. I know what y'all are trying to do. Y'all are out here trying to fucking use me. Y'all are trying to use me for your own fucking selfish gain, and I ain't about that, dude. You want to know what's really going to help? Is me showing the real me through my videos, which I'm going to be starting to do today, as well as going back to streaming starting today or tonight as well. Or maybe tomorrow, depending on what goes on. But I'm not about to fucking sit here and be like, oh yeah, sure, I'll do this. Sure, I'll do that. Nah, man. What about what I fucking want, huh? What about what I want to do? What about what I want to do with my life? What about the things that I enjoy doing? Why should I give those up? Fuck that. I ain't giving that up. I'm tired of doing interviews with people that think that they fucking know me. You think just because y'all, you're all nice to me and this and that and the other, that you can just walk up and do an interview with me? No, nah, motherfucker, it don't work like that. You don't think I don't see right through the fucking bullshit, dude? I see right through every little fucking bit of it, man. All this promise of money and this and that and the other, I'm fucking tired of it. If you're trying to pay me to do this shit... You can keep your money. I want to show people the real me and earn this money on my fucking own. I want to show people what I can really fucking do when I'm not being screwed with. I'm tired of being fucking used as a fucking cash cow. And that's how I feel half the time. Like a cash cow. I'm done being that. So starting today, no more interviews. No more, oh, I'll pay you to do this. No, I want to earn the money the right way. And the right way to earn it is by busting my ass, doing what I need to do. That's what earning a living is. Like y'all out here trying to use me for your business? Nah, fuck that. Cause you know, my girl Elena, man, she worked her ass off for everything she's got. And I'm proud of her for that. I really am. I'm beyond, beyond fucking proud of her for that. 100%. But, I'm not about to sit here and be walked on by all y'all over here on the internet and Hit me up on my Instagram and hit me up by text message. Nah, fuck that. I'm about my music 
and my gameplay videos and about being around people. I'm tired of being fucking walked on by all y'all, man. It's fucking stupid and it don't need to be going on. Because, you know, that's how people get fucked over. That's how artists lose a lot of their shit. By doing that shit. By saying, oh, I'll help you out with this. And then they get completely detracted from what they really want to do. So, for all y'all wondering, am I working on a brand new album? Yes. I'm actually working on my brand new, on my first ever Deathcore album ever. I'm working on my brand new Metalcore album slash Deathcore album ever. And I'm loving it. I'm already like three or four songs deep and it's turning out great, man. Yeah, I'm about that money. But I'm about earning it the right way. I ain't out here trying to do this or that or the other for this person or that person when I don't fucking hardly know them. I only trust those that I connect with and vibe with, dude. Like my homie Nocio. I've known that dude for a good minute now. I connect with him. I vibe with him. I rock with him. My girl. I connect and vibe with her on such a fucking deep level that it's absolutely nuts. There are certain people that I fucking vibe with that I rock with. If I vibe with you, I fuck with you. And if I fuck with you, I vibe with you. And when I do both of those things, I got you back. But to everybody else out here trying to say this or that or the other, man, fuck y'all, man. I'm tired of being stepped on. I'm tired of being walked on. And I'm tired of being taken advantage of. My whole career, I've been told, oh, you need to do this. Oh, you need to do that. Nah, fuck that. No more of that shit. I'm done. I'm not doing shit for nobody anymore that don't deserve it. I'm not going to help you out if you ain't going to help me out. Like, if you ain't going to help me get my fucking music off the ground and help me do what I need to do to start making money again, then fuck y'all. I ain't about it. I ain't trying to hear it. For all my close friends, y'all know I got love for you, man. Y'all already know us, man. And for all my real hardcore fans, I appreciate the fuck out of y'all, and I love the fuck out of you guys. You know that. And my girl, Elena Bay, you already know I fucking love you. There's no question about that. You know damn well I love you, and I wouldn't trade you for anything in the world. Because let me tell you something, man. Elena showed me a lot. She showed me what real hard work looks like. She showed me what I need to be doing. And what I need to be doing is being myself and having fun and being the real me that nobody got the chance to see. And that's why starting today, I'm going back to the original me, the me that I was before all this shit. And if you don't like it, well, too fucking bad. And if you don't like that I'm going to be doing interviews and this and that and the other, well, I'm sorry to say, that's just how it is. And if you don't like it, find someone else to talk to because uh, I'm done with these interviews and being made out to be a bad guy. I'm done with it, dude. So, yeah. Here's to a brand new me, a brand new future, going back to the real me that I need to be. And fuck anybody that wants to try to use me for their own gain, dude. I ain't about it. I'm going to earn money my way, the right way. Fuck helping those that never helped me. I'm going to do shit my way and make that shit work. Peace. What up, y'all? So, 
I'm beginning the question of why did I say what I said about that dude deserving it. Well, let me tell you. I'm going to be straight up honest. I did say that that guy deserved it. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that I didn't say that. Because I did. But there's a reason why I said that. It's because I'm that man. I showed up here, harassed and attacked my family. After rallying and riling up half my neighborhood and coming here to harass us and my family. And you know what's sad? If the cops would have done their fucking job, this could have all been prevented. All this started because the police would not help us. My family has reached out over 113 times for help. But nothing got done. And now as a result of them not helping us, I'm now in a court case. So yes, I do blame the police for what happened that day. If they had done their jobs and actually looked into this situation, this whole thing could have been prevented. Him coming here could have been prevented. All the shit that went down could have been prevented. But because of the cops not taking my family seriously and acting very unprofessional, I had to take matters into my own hands. And I'm sorry, but when you show up to my house and harass my family and you sit there and antagonize them and get in their face while you're on our property and we tell you to leave and you don't leave that gives us every right to do what we did I did not physically hit that man with the bat he caught the bat and grabbed it away from me that does not constitute simple assault. That is not assault. If I hit him, then yes, that's assault. But this man sat there a few weeks prior and threatened to shoot up my family. Threatened to shoot up me. And when he showed up, I had every right and reason to do what I did. And like I said, I know this doesn't look favorable on me, and I get that, but y'all need to realize, all y'all trolls that do this shit, y'all need to fucking realize that what you're doing gets people hurt. What you're doing gets people killed. What you're doing lands innocent people in prison and in jail. Like, when is enough enough? When are you guys going to fucking stop? Huh? When are you going to stop going after people for no reason? When are you guys going to grow up and stop the bullshit? Like I said, that man riled up half my neighborhood and started harassing me and my family. And like I said, the only reason why I went out there with the bat is because of the fact that he riled up half our neighborhood, would not leave our property. And when I swung the bat at him, he caught it, and that's what pushed him on the public property. I never hit him. He grabbed the bat. He literally grabbed it and yanked it away. After me and him tussled with it for a moment. So I don't know what kind of crackhead bullshit you guys are on. But you need to stop. I know why you guys are doing this. You're doing this because you want to make me out to be the next Chris Chan. And that's not going to happen. I'm not going to let that happen. 
I will fight this whole damn thing tooth and nail. Because if anybody deserves to be arrested, it's all of you guys that have harassed me and harassed my family for the last five to seven years. I don't deserve this. If anybody should be going to court, it's you guys, not me. You know, these last several years, I tried to mind my own business. But because I don't do what you want, because I'm not doing what you want, you guys feel like you have the right to do this shit. And you don't have that right, man. You don't have that right to do what you guys are doing to me. When are you guys going to grow up and fucking stop? Huh? When are you going to grow up, shut up, and cut the bullshit? I know what you guys are trying to do and it's not going to work. Like I said, I'll fight this whole damn thing my entire life if I have to. If it means putting a stop to the bullying and the low cow garbage on the internet, I'll fight this shit. I don't care. I will fight this shit as long as I need to. But most important, I am calling out the Akron PD for not doing their job. Over 113 times, my family has reached out for your guys' help. Over 113 times, my family has begged and screamed and pleaded for help from you guys. And what did you do? You failed us. You mocked us. You laughed at us. Instead of trying to get us the help you needed, you sat there and neglected us and laughed at us. And then you try to blame the whole fence thing on me when that wasn't on me. And then you try to tell our landlady to evict us. Or more so me. Saying that I'm the problem, but I'm not the problem. The problem here is you guys. The problem here is the trolls. That's the problem. You guys need to do your fucking job. Seriously. Stop fucking neglecting people. Stop neglecting people that go through this shit. Because what they're going through when it comes to show like this is very real. And no one deserves it. At all. Like I said, do I regret what I did to the guy? From a legal standpoint, yes. But from a personal standpoint, no, because I have a right to defend my family. He came onto our property and harassed me and my family after riling up half the neighborhood and got them down here to harass us as well. I was only protecting myself and my family. That's all I was doing. I was doing like anybody else would do and protecting myself and my family from being hurt. Because I have full-fledged evidence of this guy wanting to come down here ahead of time. I have actual evidence of him posting in Discord about coming down here to hurt me and my family. So yes, I had every right and reason to do what I did. But I want you trolls to know that what you do is so disgusting and so, divine, so defiling and wrong and vile. No one deserves what you fucking do to them. No one deserves that. Not me. Chris didn't deserve it. Tony didn't deserve it. Heather Kalana didn't deserve it. Suplex City Vlogs didn't deserve it. No one deserves what you guys do to them. Y'all's troll shit 
needs to stop. Before someone seriously gets hurt. What up y'all? I have a little message for Marty and Michael and everyone out there trying to set me up. Marty, you're the reason I'm in this. You're the reason that I'm in this court case. You're the one I fought, motherfucker. You want to know how? I'll tell you how. You're at fault for all this. Because if you hadn't have fucking trolled me like you did, if you hadn't have mentally screwed with me, and you hadn't have bullied me the way you fucking did, and spread all those rumors and those lies, and illegally entrapped me like you did, I wouldn't be in this position. Because if you had not fucking illegally entrapped me because you were fucking jealous as shit and wanted me to your fucking self, if you hadn't done all that, I wouldn't be in this position. And you wanna know how? Because if you had not held if you have not if you had not illegally entrapped me, these rumors wouldn't have been spread. And then this whole thing with this douchebag vigilante. This dude named Aware Myself committing vigilanteism on top of using fighting words on my home property. I wouldn't be in this position of possibly going to jail. So Marty, I blame you. And Michael, I blame you for being stupid enough to follow in his footsteps. And being an opportunist and going along with shit. After all the shit I did for you, motherfucker. All the shit I did for you. All the stuff I helped you out with. All the fucking images that I helped you create, that you use. All the audio files, the hundreds of fucking pieces that I did for you. Because I respect you as a business person. And what you do. Hmm. You made yourself in your family look like a total fucking joke by following Marty and what he's doing. And I know a lot of people are sitting there saying, oh, what does that do with the situation? Everything, motherfuckers. Everything. Because Marty, if, like I said, if you hadn't have gotten fucking jealous and greedy and used Mass Troll Mafia to illegally entrap me, I wouldn't be in this position. So yeah, motherfucker, I blame you. Oh, and as for aware of myself, dude, you had no business being here. You came here to start a riot with my neighborhood, committing vigilantism, and you decided to use fighting words on your shitty little sign. See, what y'all don't understand is that I was in the right in what I did. 
I had every right to do what I fucking did. Every right. Because what that man used on that sign was fighting words. Those words are considered a fucking weapon. What he did is called vigilanteism, which is a fucking crime. That's illegal. Not to mention, starting a fucking riot. To where my, half my neighborhood came down my street and attacked me and my family. It may not have been physical attacks, but there were still attacks nonetheless. And I'm not allowed to sit here and be silent. Because what that man did was wrong. Now, should I have come out there with a the bat? Not necessarily. But when you show up to my dwelling and my house, and you commit vigilanteism after inciting a freaking riot and using fighting words on a sign, Those fighting words are considered a weapon. Don't blame me. Look it up. What that man did was incite a riot, used fighting words, and then backed it all up with vigilanteism. Trying to make himself to be the good guy and me the bad guy. Not to mention the police acting unprofessional as fuck. Sitting there not giving me a chance to freaking explain what went down. Or get my side of the story. They were being prejudiced against me. If anybody deserves to be in jail, it's that motherfucker that showed up here, not me. Joseph Lawson deserves to be arrested, not me. I didn't do anything wrong. I was defending my fucking dwelling. I was defending my home and my family. From people that were inciting a fucking riot. And since when is defending your family a fucking crime? When is defending your family against somebody who incited a riot and used fighting words and pretending to be a vigilante? Since when is defending your family like that against that shit a crime? Last time I checked, a man has the right to defend his own. A man has the right to defend his home, his dwelling, his family, and his property. See, what y'all don't realize, that man came onto my property. And then when I swung the bat, he stepped off of our property. Prove me wrong, motherfuckers. Prove me wrong. I dare y'all to prove me wrong. Because none of y'all motherfuckers were there when he first showed up. He first stepped foot in our yard. Which gave me every right to do what I motherfucking did. Not to mention, he came there to incite a riot. He came there to be a vigilante. He came there using fucking fighting words. Which gave me every reason to do what I did. Did I want to? No. But when you show up here, you use fighting words, you pretend to be a vigilante, and you try to incite a riot 
against me and my family, guess what? I have every right to do what I need to do to protect my family and my people and my dwelling. So did the Akron PD screw you. You guys are crooked as fuck. You guys are prejudiced against me. All you ever do is sit there and laugh at me. Like I don't fucking matter because I ain't got money. Well, wrong answer, motherfucker. You can't just walk around and treat someone like shit just because they ain't got money. At the end of the day, motherfucker, we're all humans. We're all people. We all deserve the same respect as each other. And yeah, I'm fucking pissed. Because right now, because of you dumb motherfuckers, I could be spending six months in prison, which I'm fighting like hell to get out of. Because I know I didn't do anything wrong. I was protecting myself, my property, and my family. And my dwelling. And every man has a right to fucking do that. Every man has a right to protect his family, his dwelling, his home, his family, and himself. Like I said, Joseph Lawson showed up here to incite a riot, use fighting words, and with those fighting words, he did what he did and tried to be a vigilante. Which all three of those things are illegal. So I dare someone to contest that. Don't believe me? Look up the laws. Prove me wrong. I dare you. Because none of you can. Because I was in the right in doing what I did. It may have been a little bit extreme. But guess what? When you threatened me a couple months prior by having a picture of shotgun shells saying you're going to show up here and then you show up here to incite a riot using fighting words and pretending to be a vigilante and you're up in my face and my family's faces, guess what? I have, every, I have every right to do what I need to do to protect myself. Because I did feel threatened by that guy. I didn't know what he was going to do. I didn't know what this dude was going to pull. So Marty, I hope you're happy with what you started, motherfucker. Because you're the one that started all this five to six years ago. And it needs to stop. Now. I'm tired of being quiet about this shit. Like I said, I don't deserve this. My family don't deserve this. And I don't need to be in this situation. I'm just a normal dude out here trying to make music and do anything I can to make an honest living. I don't deserve this at all. And if you think I do, well... You're welcome to prove me wrong. What's up, everybody? I know it's been a very, very long time. Since I've been on here. I know it's been a long time since I've been on here, guys. And a lot's happened. And I'm sure you guys are already aware. But something happened.
today that I wasn't expecting. Oh, one of my family members. May have set me on the right path again. They reached out to me and they said something that, you know, really put me on the right path again and made me realize that I need to start fighting for myself. I need to start being myself again. And first off, I want to say that I'm sorry to you guys. I'm sorry for those of you that I let down. I'm sorry to my family, my friends. You guys never got to see the real me that you guys deserve because I was angry, I was always raging out, not getting to be who I wanted to be this whole time. And I hate it. That's why I'm starting this show the right fucking way for you guys now let's go now this next song is the song that saved me from a very abusive relationship and showed me that I don't need this that I don't need the abuse that I don't need to be so crap and that is us way there. So to anyone out there who's listening, who's in that abusive relationship, or who thinks they can't do that, this is for every single one of you. And I want you to know that I appreciate you, and I care that these people care. This is witness the addiction. And it's true. I could be like you trolls, but I'm nothing like you. I never want to be like you, and I never will be like you. And I'm gonna say this right here and now. I'm going to fight all of this, tooth and nail. I don't care if I have to fight for a month, a year, or the rest of my life. I am fighting this goddamn case that you guys brought onto me. And I'm gonna make damn sure I don't end up in jail again like you guys want. I will fight this until I am dead in the ground. Because if anyone deserves to be there, it's you vigilantes that deserve to be there. You vigilantes that go on your self-righteous tirades, you guys deserve to be behind bars, not me. I will continue to fight. I will continue to battle, no matter how long it takes. I don't care if I have to fight in court for a month, a year, three years, I don't care. I will do whatever it takes to fight this and put a stop to the bullying that I've dealt with because of all of you. I will fight until I am dead. And to all my supporters, I want to say thank you to every one of you guys that have stood by me during this whole fight. Everybody that has stood behind me, I want to say thank you so much. Your guys' support means the fucking world to me. It really does. And I fucking mean that. Your guys' support, your guys love all the messages, all the videos. I want to say thank you guys. I fucking love y'all, man. Now I do need to bounce to get some money making up all sorts of support. But with that being said, I love you guys, and I'm out of here, y'all.
As I always say, stay humble, stay positive, don't let the hatred get you, and keep being yourself. Fuck these haters, and fuck the trolls. I fucking love you guys. I'm out, yo. Peace. What's up, guys? This video you guys are about to see is like 30 seconds long. It is a prime example of another false police report made by these vigilantes and these gang stalkers that call themselves the associates. Um, the video doesn't need much explanation, so... Yeah. So, here it is. Someone called for you, whatever you posted. I'm good, and one thing I want to know is... A few days ago, I was falsely arrested when somebody was out here. Uh, they were inciting a riot. They literally got all of our neighbors together and came down here and put me and my family in immediate danger. And I was falsely arrested without even being able to speak my piece. Well, I'm just a this medic. Kid you assaulted with a bat. It, no, does, it does not matter. He came over here and incited. All right, so now that you guys saw that, now, what started all this, on June 25th of this year, a vigilante that goes by the YouTube handle Aware of Myself decided to come down to my state and incite a riot and had a weapon on hand and used fighting words on that weapon to then harass, slander, and put my family in immediate danger. And I was then falsely arrested by the Akron PD for essentially no reason at all. For literally defending my family. This man was on our property trespassing and citing a riot, but yet I'm the one that got arrested. And that's not right. Now because of these people, I now have to go to court because of it. I was wrongfully arrested. This vigilante is the one that should have been arrested because he had no business being here. He had no right to be here, and he was indeed on our property. I do not care what the police say. He was in a private neighborhood on private property, inciting a riot against myself and my family and putting my family in immediate danger when he dropped the sign. Another one of my neighbors picked up that sign, which was his weapon, and began to use that weapon to pick up where the initial vigilante had left off. But what gets me is, why was I arrested and this other guy wasn't? This other guy should have been arrested. I did not even get to speak my piece at all. So why the fuck was I arrested? I didn't deserve to be arrested. I did nothing wrong. This man incited a riot against my family. This man incited a riot against myself and my family and put me and my family in immediate danger and in harm's way. So that man, that masked vigilante that showed up, he should be the one to be arrested, not me. And to the Akron PD, I want to know this. Why are you guys not doing your fucking job? Huh? Why are you guys not 
backtracing these people that do this shit. These are false reports being made against my family and myself. Why aren't you doing anything about this? My family has reached out to you guys over 113 freaking times this year and you guys still didn't do anything. You guys didn't do anything two years ago except walk away from my house laughing at me. When you guys should have been investigating these people. So to the Akron PD, yes, I'm calling you out. I did not deserve to get arrested at all. I didn't deserve that. That vigilante that you guys fucking sided with is the one that should have been arrested, not me. So to the Akron PD, I say this. Learn to do your fucking job. Alright, so I know I haven't talked about this in a long time, but I feel like this needs to be brought up. I was just made aware of this a few minutes ago. I did not know this is going on for a few months now. But I am calling out Jason David Frank's daughter, Jenna Frank. Jenna, you're an embarrassment to your father. You really are a fucking piece of shit. Charging people for your autograph and stuff to sign for your dad. Like you're literally charging money for an autograph. Really. Your dad never would have done that. Any Comic Con that I've been to. Any Comic Con that any Green Ranger fan or any JDF fan has been to. Has gotten shit signed for free. Jenna, you're an ungrateful fucking brat. You really are. Back in 2017, I did some bloodshot art or fan art for your dad. Because your dad was a father figure to me growing up. He was one of my childhood heroes. He really was. Because my dad was never around at all. Because he was either too busy working or too busy getting fucking drunk. I grew up watching your dad on Power Rangers. Your dad has been my childhood hero for as long as I can remember. You know what your dad did when I made that bloodshot artwork for him? And I posted it for him on his fan page. Matter of fact, don't blame me. Go back and look at it. Look up Chance Wilkins on the fan art page. And you'll see where I posted it. Your dad not only liked my artwork. He commented on it. He commented on a couple pieces actually that I did for him. Why? Because he enjoys the fans. He appreciated the fans. And for you to sit there and take your father's name and make people pay for an autograph, that's wrong. You want to know what's sad, Jenna? People like you that are fucking greedy. Let me tell you something right now, kid. You see this fan art piece that I did for your father? This piece right here. I did this in honor of your dad. 
Cause that's how highly I think of your dad. Matter of fact, let me show you the full thing. Right there's the full thing. I did that out of respect for your dad. You wanna know why? Because I respect the shit out of your dad. I do. I respect the shit out of him and what he was about. But you, Jenna, are an embarrassment to him and his legacy. Making fans pay for an autograph isn't right. Your dad would have never, never made anyone pay for an autograph. Anytime that I've gone to a Comic Con and had shit signed by him, anytime any other fan has gone to a Comic Con and had sh shit signed by him, guess what? They didn't have to pay anything. Why? Because he respected his fans and he loved his fans. And for you to tarnish that is fucked up. You're ruining your dad's legacy by doing that. By you doing what you're doing, you're tarnishing his name and his fan base. You're making people not want to get autographs by him. And that's fucking sad. Granted, I know he's passed. You know, massive rest in peace to your dad. Like I said, your dad was a childhood hero to myself and many others. But for you to make fans pay for your dad's autograph, how fucking selfish do you have to be, huh? You're an embarrassment to your father's name and your father's legacy and what he left behind. You're a fucking embarrassment. And I'm pretty damn sure that every single Green Ranger fan and Jason David Frank fan will agree that you are an embarrassment to his name by doing that. So Jenna, stop being greedy. Stop making people pay for autographs. That's not right. Alright y'all, so I'm here to take a 15 minute break here and speak on something that needs to be spoken about. And that is what you trolls do to people. And how it leads up to like what happened with me. What you guys do is wrong. You sit there and you pick on people weaker than yourself. You sit there and you fucking target people that look weak or different. And what do you pr what do you proceed to do? Every time you guys proceed to befriend them and exploit them after befriending them. All for views and money and clicks. Also, you can make a profit. And that's not right. You know, everybody wonders why so many people kill themselves over cyberbullying. This shit right here is what drives that suicide.
that kind of shit right there, that behavior that you trolls do, that's what pushes people to kill themselves and commit acts of crime. That's what does it. I mean, you guys sit there and you attack people and you harass them like you're some sort of vigilantes on a mission for God when you're not. You're not on a godly mission. And then you run around and you make up all these rumors, all these lies, all this fucking bullshit just for clicks and views. Also, you guys can make a fast buck and get paid. And that's fucking sickening. Just like you guys did with me. You know, I warned you guys several times to leave me the hell alone. But you didn't do it. You guys took it from the internet to real life. You guys attempted to assassinate me by shooting at me. Attempted to assault me, to belittle and berate me and make me look weak. Then you had one of your little fucking trolls pretend to be a vigilante. And had him come here after, you know, threatening my mom and myself and putting our lives in immediate danger. And you had him using a weapon with fighting words on that weapon. Starting and inciting a riot. All for what? Clicks and views. And I'm going to say this right here and right now. All of you fucking trolls on the internet. All you fucking little wannabe heroes. All you fucking vigilantes. That think you know shit. You don't know jack shit. You don't know up from down. You don't know left from right. You don't know your asshole from a hole in the ground. But yet. You guys are super quick. To attack somebody. When they're down. But yeah, when that person fights back. You get mad. You guys sit there and you antagonize somebody. And you kick them down. And strip everything away from them. You strip their dignity. Their humanity. And everything you can away from them. And then what do you do? You get mad when they fight back. You get mad when they fire back at you. Where is that right? Like who the fuck died? Who the fuck died and made you God? Nobody. Like you guys sit here and you set people up and you do all this shit to make them look like the bad guy. Just like Marty did with me with Mass Troll Mafia. He set me up to be a to make me look like a pedophile because he's sickly obsessed with me. He has a mental illness in his fucking head. And I'm not blaming him for that. But he needs mental health and bad. And yet you guys get enjoyment out of Innocent people being made to look like bad guys. So I'm going to ask you dumbass trolls, you vigilante motherfuckers, the same thing I asked all my fans and all you trolls that came over to my channel, I'm going to ask you the same thing I asked everybody else last night. How many people have to take their lives before you guys fucking stop? And you say enough is enough. How many people have to die? How many people have to suffer? How many people have to lose their lives? 
and lose everything before you fucking stop. No one deserves what you guys are doing. No one. Not me, not anyone. No one deserves that. Period. No one fucking deserves that. Okay? Right? Chris Chan didn't deserve what you guys did to him. Suplex City Vlogs didn't deserve what you did to him. Tony the Black Dragon Lord. He somewhat deserved what you guys did. But even there to an extent. Y'all didn't need to fucking dehumanize him like you did on live stream and made him do the shit that he did. Oh, let's not forget about Heather Colonna, the one that you guys fucking scared the shit out of for no reason. No one deserves what you guys do to people. You guys walk around here and act like fucking wannabe gangsters. But really, you're just a bunch of piss-poor, sad, lonely fucking old men that are mad at their lives, that have no goals, that have no dreams, that don't do anything, that want to fucking point and blame other people for your doings. You know, it's funny. You sit there and you attack somebody. You antagonize them, you harass them, you bully them so fucking much. And then when they fucking snap, you point the finger and are like, Oh, he's the bad guy, he did this, he did that. No, motherfucker, you guys did something. You guys bullied that person to the point of fucking doing something. And it's funny. Y'all sit there and tell people like me to take accountability? Wow, you fucking ignorant little fucks. You stupid ass fucking morons. You dumb ass vigilante motherfuckers. Why don't you guys take responsibility for your actions? I mean, it's pretty funny how you victimize people. And then you turn around and paint them out to be the villain. When really they're the victim. And you're the villain. Also you can cover your own fucking ass. And that's sad. You dumbass trolls are nothing more than wannabe vigilantes. Inciting riots. Doing harm to people. Harassing people. All for what? A laugh? A view? A quick buck? What you guys are doing needs to stop before someone gets seriously hurt or killed. You guys almost killed me twice. You guys tried to kill me twice in a row. When are you guys going to stop? When someone does actually get killed? When someone does actually get hurt and end up in the hospital seriously injured? Hell, because of you guys, a couple years ago, I got stressed out so much that I almost died from the stress and I did end up in the hospital. But how long is it going to be before someone takes their life from you bullying them? And then guess what? When that person does, their blood is going to be on your fucking hands. You guys need to stop this fucking bullshit. It's gone too far and it needs to stop. Before someone gets seriously hurt or ends up dead because of you. So cut the bullshit and stop fucking bullying people. It's not okay. It's not cool. It doesn't make you hard. It doesn't make you cool. It doesn't make you a badass. It makes you a fucking pathetic ass piece of shit fucking moron. With no morals. So wannabe vigilante hard asses. Cut the bullshit. Now. Before someone gets hurt. Or worse. Think about what you do before you do it.
Because one day you guys are going to push somebody so far that they will take their lives. And guess what? Their blood is going to be on your hands. Alright y'all, so I'm making this quick video because I just saw the three part videos of Death by Design. And Death by Design, I'm calling you out, motherfucker. You want to sit there and talk about how I need to take accountability for my actions? How about you guys take accountability for what you fucking did? You say that, oh, anybody that goes against me is the nerd. No, that's you, motherfucker. Anybody that don't agree with you, that's your narrative. That's your fucking narrative, dude. That is your narrative, man. Not mine. You want to talk about getting off the internet? How about you get off the internet, motherfucker? I have just as much right to be on here as you do, boy. Just as much right as you do. You want to talk about taking accountability? How about Marty and all these people take accountability for targeting me? How about that? How about y'all take accountability for what you guys did to me? Oh, by the way, those charges ain't getting raised. That's, that's not going to happen. Because that son of a bitch that showed up here had no fucking right being here at all. He showed up here to harass my family and incite a riot. I had every reason to do what I fucking did. Every reason. And am I sorry for that? No. I was defending my family. And you know what's sad? Y'all motherfuckers sit there and talk about how, oh, you need to take accountability for your actions. How about you shut the fuck up and take accountability for your actions, dude? How about all of those fucking times that you guys sat there and fucking bullied me and pushed me and attacked me? How about that? How about all those times y'all sat there and harassed my family and went after my fucking family? Oh, and Dale, for the record, I actually did own a business, but these motherfuckers got it shut down because they don't want to see me making money. So you can shut the fuck up with that. But as for you, Death by Design, you're a fucking piece of shit, dude. You really are. You want to talk about this, that, and the other? You're a fucking dumbass, dude. You don't see what's really going on. And Marty, I'm calling you the fuck out too, you fat fuck. If you hadn't have done all this shit to begin with, I wouldn't be in this position, man. If you would have left me the fuck alone when I told you to fuck off, I wouldn't be in this position, man. I don't deserve this. Oh, and Dale... You didn't put me in my place, bitch. I put you in your fucking place. Get it right. Cause, and the reason why I disowned you, because I'm tired of you treating me like a little fucking kid instead of like a grown-ass fucking adult like I fucking deserve. So, yeah, I'm calling you out. You sit here and you treat me like a little fucking kid when you should be treating me like a grown-ass adult. So yeah, I did this on your ass because I got tired of you sitting there treating me like a fucking child. So fuck you. But as for the rest of you dumbass trolls, you need to realize that you guys are the reason why I did what I did. You guys harassed me, attacked me, bullied me, went after my family, and you don't expect me to say something? You don't expect me to do something? Yeah, I'll admit, some of the shit that I did, I'm not proud of. But you gotta take into consideration what you guys did to push me to that point. You guys bullied me, threatened my life, threatened my family's lives. And yet, you don't expect me to stand up and say something? Wrong answer, motherfucker. Wrong fucking answer. You guys are pieces of shit. You're garbage. You talking about me manipulating? Nah, motherfucker. You guys do the manipulating. You guys do the bullying. You guys do the harassment. Not me.
You don't see me going out of my fucking way to harass people. That's you sons of bitches. Oh, just for the record, I'm not a goddamn pedophile, okay? Natural Mafia is the fucking pedo, not me. She unlawfully had me entrapped, which is a fucking crime. Which I can very well fucking prove. I was never convicted of it. I've never been arrested for it. So shut the fuck up about it already and move the fuck on. I'm tired of you dumbass fucking trolls going around, sneaking around, talking to my family, doing this, that, and the other. I ain't going to no group home, bitch. Fuck you. You want the real enemy? The real bad guy? Look in the goddamn fucking mirror, okay? Look in the fucking mirror. You guys are the bad guys. You guys are the ones that start all this. You guys are the reason why I could be facing jail time. I didn't do this. I didn't show up with a sign harass someone's family. That was you. All you guys did that, not me. So all you dumbass trolls, look in the fucking mirror before you judge someone, you stupid little fucks. Grow up. Stop acting like five-year-olds, you fucking dumb shits. Now, to pick up on my last video, I am going to say this. You know what's real fucking funny? Y'all trolls run around and attack people, right? Y'all sit there, you run around, you attack people, you go after them, and then when they don't do what you want them to do, y'all do like, y'all do them what y'all were doing to me, and to Chris Chan, and to all these other people. You know, you guys are fucking pathetic. You guys are what's wrong with social media, man. You know, it's funny. Y'all tell me to take responsibility for my actions, but yeah, you guys are the ones that cause my actions. Maybe if y'all motherfuckers would leave me the fuck alone and not go after me, and leave me the hell alone, I wouldn't have done any of the shit that I did. Maybe if y'all would have left me alone when I said to leave me the fuck alone. Marty, you fat fuck. Maybe if you would have left me the fuck alone when I said to leave me alone, none of this would have happened at all. I wouldn't be here in this position. Like I said, y'all trolls are the manipulators. Y'all trolls are the ones that have a fucking narrative. It ain't me. It's you guys with the narrative. Not me. And y'all got the fucking cops and all the authorities over here believing it. All because I wouldn't dance for you. And do what you wanted me to. This is the result. You want to get me locked up. As a fucking result of this shit. Y'all can't just run around and fucking bully people like that man. What y'all are doing is blatant ass blackmail, and it's wrong. Y'all need to stop, now. Because I ain't going nowhere, I ain't going to fucking jail. Like I said, I'm going to fight this shit. I'm going to fight this shit until I'm dead in the ground. I don't care if it takes a week, a month, a year. I don't fucking care. Until I'm exonerated, from y'all's fucking bullshit. I'm gonna fight this. I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to make sure I don't go to fucking jail. Cause of y'all motherfuckers. I'm gonna make damn sure of that. And I'll make damn sure y'all are exposed for the evil that you guys fucking do. What you guys do is evil, it's vile, it's corrupt, and it's garbage. Hell, I dare say, a lot of what y'all do is fucking criminal. Because y'all have done broken so many motherfucking laws that it's pathetic. 
y'all done so much illegal shit that it's fucking pathetic. Y'all have tampered with our mail. Y'all have trespassed on our property. Y'all have incited riots. Y'all have stolen shit. All illegal shit, motherfuckers. Oh, not to mention credit card fraud. Identity fraud. Breaking into my mom's bank account. Falsely accusing me of shit that I did not do. All that shit that signs the false accusation against me is criminal. So who's the real bad guy here, motherfuckers? Is it me or is it you, sons of bitches? What? You don't think I don't see the fucking discords? You don't think I ain't up in there reading what y'all say? You don't think I ain't up in that goddamn Reddit? Seeing what y'all are trying to do? Laughing? Making jokes? Sitting there saying, oh, if you had just danced, you wouldn't be in this position. You don't think I don't see that shit? I see it. And I'm calling you motherfuckers on it. Every one of you. Like I said, I don't care if it takes a week, a month, a year, two years, five years. I don't care if I got to fight this shit till I'm dead in the ground. I ain't going to jail for you motherfuckers. Y'all ain't fucking worth it. Oh, and for the record, you can best believe that when this case is over and I win, because I am going to win, I never lose. I always fucking win. Every time. Check my record. I've got a zero fucking loss streak going. And I plan to keep it at zero losses. When I am done with this fucking case and I'm done exposing you motherfuckers to the world, and the cyberbullying that you guys do to people that drives them to suicide, my ass ain't gonna be on the internet. You wanna know why? Cause I'm gonna be enjoying my fucking life while y'all sit there and go after other people and dig yourselves a deeper asshole. So to all y'all out there that wanna fucking go at me, bring it. Because I have more than enough fucking proof to show that I've been bullied. And to show that the Akron PD has not been doing their fucking job. So go ahead. Do what you want. It ain't gonna change the fact that I'm winning this shit. Because I have more than enough evidence to show that you guys have bullied me for the last five years. And I'm stepping up and I'm saying enough is enough. This shit stops. Now. I don't deserve this shit. No one deserves the bullying that you guys put people through. Oh, and that little narrative that you talked about, death by design, that narrative, that's just your way of saying that you're fucking pissed off that I wouldn't dance for you. So you're saying that all oh, this is my fault because I wouldn't dance for you, right? Wrong answer. It's your fault. You guys had that guy come here. You guys had that guy trespass. You guys had that man inside a riot. That wasn't protesting. That was inciting a fucking riot. So fuck you. Oh, like I said, after this whole case is done, I am, by my own choice, taking myself off the internet so I ain't got to deal with y'all motherfuckers. After this case, I ain't going to have a channel no more, probably. Because I'm taking myself off of YouTube when this case is done. And I'm moving on with my life while you guys stay stuck in the past. So... Have fun being stuck in the past, bitches. He literally trying to put my family lives in immediate danger. Try to start a riot, dude. Try to start a riot.
I want to put it here, God.